What is up, everyone? This is What's My Game bringing you a brand new series. We've got Bloodborne, as you can see, and we are going to be playing it. We're going to do a walkthrough. Uh, if it if it's popular for my small channel, I'll I'll go through as far as possible, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is somewhat, I guess, supposed to be a continuance of uh, Dark Dark Souls. I played Dark Souls. I love the game. I don't really remember it all that well, so you know, I, I didn't have a refresher. I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm just gonna kind of jump in and and uh, and get into it. I didn't really uh, watch a bunch of trailers or anything, and uh, I haven't really researched this game a whole lot, so I don't really know what to expect other than I know it's a PS4 exclusive, and it's you know got some it's made by the same developers dark souls it's going to play with the adjustments here real quick this is what it looks like when you first start the game so there is nothing missed here to begin with uh first want to thank everybody that's uh, subscribed and and uh you know had vi visited my channel and and viewed my videos i really appreciate it uh it's been an almost three months now two and a half months and my oh, yeah. channel has grown i appreciate yeah. it Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. I guess that's it for cutscenes. So we're right into character building. And I won't bore you with a bunch of details, but uh, let's just see what's here. Let's see what it looks like. We're going to enter my name here. This guy kind of looks like a Dracula fighter from back in the day. I'm not exactly sure what time frame this is set up in. Okay, so we got... All right, so these are basically just setting up different levels for your character, you know, as far as different points. The one at the very top, the Milliken toast there, that one's, I don't even know how to say that. That one's the most average. And it looks like all these other ones are, are more slighted to other areas. <clears throat> I, I'll be honest, I haven't read, again, I haven't read up on uh, these, these skills your typical RPG, uh, you know, these skills like um, arcane and skill and strength, endurance, vitality, they're going to they're gonna be probably the same for every other type of game, but this game might be a little bit different. I don't know exactly what they're going to be good for, like arcane. I don't know if you even do magic in this game. I'm not sure. I don't think so, but obviously that Cruel Fate one with a high arcane is probably going to be some kind of magic one, so I'm kind of liking this Lone Survivor one. I think I'm going to go with this Lone Survivor one. Um, he's got a high life essence and vigor. And uh, anything that has a little bit more life is, uh, I think, a good thing. <laughs> because from what I, little bit I have heard is that you spend a lot of time dying in this game. So if I can get a little bit more uh, life, I will. I'll go with Very Burly because that matches my figure. <laughs> More than anything, although it says muscular, and uh, I'm far from that. I used to be. Oh, okay, so if you go very burly, then everything's already set at the biggest. Got a bunch of different skin tones. I'm going to make them too light colored here. Again, I won't waste too much time here, but I'll just give you guys a little glimpse of what it, what it does look like. You got skin, a bunch of different skin colors, and then, wow, you can really get into the skin color and nose bridge color. Oh my gosh, that seems uh, kind of way out there. Get into an age, and then a parent age. 
You can make yourself look older than you really are. I don't know. Facial aesthetic? Wow. I'm not really going to screw with all this. He's got like a green eyes. I have like a blue eyes, so maybe I'll just give myself some blue eyes. Oh, what the hell? I'll give him the bluest eyes ever. Like, all the way to the right here. Let's <laughs> see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can make the left and right pupil size bigger. I'll leave that for someone else to screw with. Oh, these tattoos are kind of lame. And you can change the color of the mark. So there's not a whole lot you can change, but the, like the skin color. Wow, you can not only change the color like a basic, but then you can like go in and change your own palette color. That seems a little extravagant. So there I am. I'm a young male, and uh, I'm ready to play. I didn't want to spend too much time on it. I already wasted five minutes. But that was character creation. This is Bloodborne. Again, I was saying earlier, thank you so much for everyone that's uh, subscribed. I've got about 123 or 24 subscribers as of right now, uh, which is really nothing, obviously, in the YouTube world. But for me, that's a lot, you know, uh, in just a couple of months doing gaming videos. And I haven't, you know, really done anything other than just post videos to try to get subscribers. You know, I posted here and there, hey, please subscribe. And, and uh, you know, it's it's really hard to gain ground so i'm just going to keep doing what i'm doing and and posting videos when i have more time and my dream is to one day do this for a living so that would be awesome and i really appreciate everybody that's supported me so far and um we're going to get into this series and see how it goes okay. all signed and sealed now let's begin the transfusion oh don't you worry whatever happens you may think it all a mere bad dream. Say that is mega creepy. You found yourself a hunter. So now we're able to move around here. So we had some kind of transfusion. I mean, in a transfusion, they give you different blood. I, I'm really I'm not really following the story here. They need my blood or I I don't know. I screwed up the controls earlier. I changed the X axis and I really needed to change the Y axis. I've been gaming for what? Thirty years since I was probably not that long. But uh yeah, maybe since I was a little little snot rag, I don't know. <laughs> but uh I still can't get the X, X, X axis and the Y axis right. Well, the game looks great. The controls are are okay so far. I don't know why I'm doing like this weird, like I'm trying to hold a candle or some shit. <laughs> I'm walking around like uh, I'm a nun or something. 
Oh, I just rest. <laughs> this is the. I got an itch. I got uh, scratching my ass. <laughs> Oh, what is... Oh, there we go, a little... I like the scratching ass food. <laughs> uh, obviously, there must be some kind of weapon there, but that looks like uh, an ass scratch to me. So I'm just trying out all the different uh, motions here. These dudes on the floor must be some sort of tutorial. And if I'm going too fast pause it or something. I'm just kind of looking around. Apologize. View Spectre. Some sort of tomb just came out of the ground and went back down. Same same story there. Not sure what that's supposed to do. Uh oh. We've got our first monster. And I've got nothing but the nun stance. Oh! <laughs> this, oh! Oh, he took away half my life in one. Uh, that's not good. I'm just gonna try to beat him to death. I'm taking four away from him. Oh my god! That's not. That's not gonna work. I was hitting him and he was taking like four damage. Four. Four damage per hit. With my. Uh, Hands in a prayer nun uh, stance. There, I don't. I don't think that's gonna work. I didn't see any weapons. Maybe I was going too fast. I don't know. I wasn't rush rushing around, but that guy was just like in the room right there. I don't know. All right, maybe you're meant to die because this looks like obviously a cutscene that was supposed to have happened here. I'm not really sure what uh, what the deal is. Looks like the perfect Halloween uh, picture there. Hunter's Dream. Man, I'm still doing that damn... Prayer pose there. I don't like that. Awaken at selected location in Yarman. First floor. Here's the dreaded load screens. One thing I did read is that you're going to spend a lot of time staring at Bloodborne. So if you have a big plasma TV, because plasma is the best for video games, you're going to better be worried about uh, burning. This Bloodborne, Bloodborne word might be burning into my screen. Uh, if they don't give me a weapon soon, I'm going to be dying a lot. My ass is definitely going to be seeing this word a lot on my screen. I bought the game. I tried to preload it or pre um re pre-order it, but it said it was sold out, so I just bought it the day of. Only tried to pre-order a couple days ago. But it gave you a 2 gigabyte download as a same day download and that's something that they're trying to do to help with the download with the pre uh with the uh uh reload speeds all right let's go back in here let's see if we missed anything because obviously can't be fighting this dude with uh, with my hands that is not gonna work now here he is again maybe there's something like over here on these tables or something oh here he goes Run! Run, you nun! Run! I hope you're praying, because that guy's gonna wax your ass. There is nothing on these tables. I'm like trying to hit this guy. This is this is the lost cause. I have no way to heal myself. Oh, I just got annihilated again. Well, I tell you what, this is a good breaking point. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I obviously have to find a weapon because this hand-to-hand -hand combat with this monster ain't going to happen. 
So I tell you what, uh, we're going to end it here. This has uh, been a episode one of our walkthrough for Bloodborne. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit that like button uh, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I've got some great content coming your way. Thank you so much for all that have already supported me and uh, plan to do so in the future. This is What's My Game. Have a great day. See you.